Hey everybody, how is it going? Another little update for you here for my retro gaming collection. So, you remember how I told you that I got Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion for the Genesis for $6.95 and it didn't work. I took that back and they tried to get it to work. Wasn't gonna happen. Uh, they tried to find a uh, replacement cart. Sadly, they didn't have another copy of it. I, I was really upset about that, but, well, what are you going to do? I kind of expected to get store credit back on that one anyways. Um, and I brought a couple of other games in that I wanted to trade in, one being Burnout Paradise, uh, because I recently bought for the second, I bought the game for the second time. Uh, I bought Burnout Paradise, the ultimate box for the PC on Amazon for five bucks. It's on sale for five bucks right now. And I was like, well, I have a friend who has the game on the PC. I might as well get the game on the PC so that I can play the game with him. You know what I mean? Um, it was only five bucks. I figured, you know, I can get that much, if not more, back in trade in value at this awesome game store. It's called Game Trader. Uh, actually, what it ended up being was eight bucks back. So, bought the game with all the bundle stuff that I didn't get before for the PS3, and I got it for five bucks. And then I went and sold the PS3, the normal PS3 version, back to Game Trader for eight bucks. Made a three dollar profit there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I thought I was just going to break even and just kind of trade one version for the other. Nah. I, I, I even did better than that. So anyways, the game that I got in uh, return for, I guess, in replacement for Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion was Animaniacs for the Genesis. Really great game. It was six ninety five. It's a little bit more than I wanted to pay for this game, but it's another one of those cases where it's like it's more of a popular game, it's more well known, so they're gonna charge a little bit more for it. I didn't really mind because again, like I said, I wanna support them. But uh the other two games I got were for the eight dollars basically. So the first thing that I saw just out of the corner of my eye noticed you know, every now and then they have some boxed Genesis games in this one location that's right that's near the Genesis section. They don't usually sell Genesis games in box, well, particularly the ones that they have on the shelf or anything. If you want in box Genesis games, you might have to ask them for it. But they do, as they've told me at least, don't they don't have a problem selling box Genesis games. In fact, they're trying to get rid of some of their excess boxes. Uh, so that might explain why I was able to find this for two bucks in box. Um, yeah, it's a sports game, but it's actually probably, in my opinion, one of the best sports games of the 90s. Uh, it's one of those sports games that even people who aren't sports gamers really love. Um, that would be NBA Jam. For the Sega Genesis. It's really quite fun, even if you're just playing by yourself. Um, I guess when I was a kid, I really liked basketball. I don't really like it that much anymore. But if I'm going to play a basketball game, this is the one. So I was really happy to... And it doesn't have the uh, manual, but you know, I was really happy to find this game in box, pretty much mint, for two bucks. It's hard to beat that. It really is. It really is. I mean, from time to time, in like a garage sale, you're going to find something better than that. But for the most part, it's, it's hard to beat two bucks for an Inbox Genesis game, particularly when it's NBA Jam. Sure, it's a sports game, but it's NBA Jam. It's not just any sports game, you know? Uh, next up, last but not least, this one was $6 Inbox with everything, including the manual. I actually had to ask them. I had to go to the counter and ask, okay, do you have any of these games? Because these are my favorite games on the Genesis. And 
I've been wanting to get these for the Genesis since I got one. Um, Road Rash 2. Didn't find immediately any Road Rash or Road Rash 3, but they did find Road Rash 2, which I had no problem with. I want this. It was $5.95 in box with the manual, which likes to let them flop out of here. So I was just like, that's perfect. That fits exactly what I needed for, like, at the time I had... Animaniacs and NBA Jam, and I needed this. I had six bucks left, and I was like, "Well, maybe they'll have a Road Rash game for six bucks. Or maybe I get lucky, or maybe it won't be too much more than six bucks that I'll I won't mind paying." But no, right on. That's how you know it's meant to be. Right on with six bucks. Now, I did have to uh, toy around with this, blow on the cart, whatnot, just to get it to work, <laughs> but. When you're dealing with older games like this, you're just going to have to do that. It's one of those things. It's like you can't really complain. Oh, I had to do all this to get it to work. Yeah, it's retro gaming, man. That's part of the charm, you know. Uh, if you didn't have to do something to get the game to work every now and then, then how would you even know it was a you know, game from the 90s or the 80s even? particularly the 80s, you know? So, yeah, got this Road Rash 2, mint in box, well, not mint, but in box with the manual and everything. So I got that, and this, and these two will be going alongside my Echo the Dolphin in box. Sadly, they checked, because they are looking to get rid of some of their boxes, but they did not have Animaniacs, the box for that. So I was like, ah, all right. I mean, if I'm not so much of a stickler that if I can't find it with the box, I'm going to freak out or something. I'm more into just getting games that I would actually like to play from time to time. And these are games that I would actually like to play from time to time. Animaniacs, really fun game if you haven't actually tried it for the Genesis. Um, I guess it can get a little hard, but honestly, it's just a good little fun little platform. Er. I don't know why they just said platform. It's a platformer. Yeah, the good old days of the platformers, back before they changed forever, if you ask me. I mean, they've never really returned. But, uh, yeah. So I got Road Rush 2, and then I came home, and I looked online, and I noticed in my email, apparently I also, after putting in, like, a bid a few days ago, and just forgetting about it, I also picked up Road Rash in box and everything for $3.99 on eBay, the original Road Rash. So, yeah, I'll have Road Rash and Road Rash 2. All I need now is Road Rash 3. I uh, don't know if I really want Road Rash 3. I pro I'll probably get it. It's, you know, complete the set. But yeah, I guess the one I'm most happy about, of course, is uh, NBA Jam, just because I was able to get an inbox Genesis game for two bucks. I mean, I was happy about that. They have some one, two, and three dollar Genesis carts to just sit there. Uh, F22 Interceptor or something like that for a buck. Uh, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about it, but I was like, eh, I don't know, I already have Afterburner, do I really need another, you know, prototypical, especially when I'm sure that game probably is nowhere near as good as Afterburner, even on the Master System, but yeah, I mean, I think the mo thing I was most happy about with these pickups is that these are all games, unlike the ones that I have for the Genesis so far that I would play quite a bit of. So, you know, reason to keep my Genesis plugged in more often than my Master System. 
Finding, I have a feeling finding Master System games I want is going to be a bit of a hassle for me, but not so much that I'm going to stop looking or anything. It's just they're going to be more sparse. It's definitely going to be easier for me to find Genesis games that I like and want, and you'll probably see me doing a few update videos about those in the near or later future, depending on when I pick them up. But, uh, yeah, that'll just about do it. After trading in Burnout Paradise and bringing back the game that didn't work, I broke out even and get all three of these games basically for free. So, not a bad deal. So, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.